Okay, second other room is very interesting. Why is it interesting? Because it suddenly becomes so complex, you don't understand why. So first of all, we will learn how to count it, right? So we have our aditalum. Aditalum is the rhythm of eight beats. Let's wrap together. Beat. Da. Beat. A. Speed in bit ta bit te bit te bit. Shall we try this third speed? Bit ta bit te bit te bit te bit ta bit. So in Lohini Adam we have experienced the first Adam and suddenly after that we have so many unknown elements. Some people might get confused. Uh, but don't worry, <laughs> you're not the only one. I had a very, very big struggle with the second Adabu, and I know many other people who had similar kind of struggles, and I know even teachers who preferred to teach second Adabu after the third, or even the fourth. It means the challenge is recognized. But if we now look at, into it, uh, from the point of view of its elements, we'll see that actually it's not that difficult as it seems, but maybe we'll need to practice separately the first part of this adabu and the second part. So, the first part of this adabu is actually very beautiful. So, we have in hands in Anjali Mutra. Anjali means greeting from Sanskrit. So, in this we start with simple steps where before stepping we kind of fall down and we grow back again. So let's have a look again. See, that's the kind of squatting we are doing. And the upper body is doing almost a wave-like move. So if we look without the hands, it's a very pleasant movement. Once you start doing it, it's hard to stop. It's like you feel yourself falling. Of course, I'm in such a way now. You know, it's not a contemporary dance where you do all those kind of things. No, still we are in an Indian classical dance. The interesting thing about Mohiniyatam is that out of all classical dances, it requires a very, very delicate balance between being loosened up and free in your body and at the maintaining the form. So on one hand, we have all the time this kind of rolling sensation where body is like a wave or a grass bending under the wind or a coconut tree bending in the wind or a wave in the ocean, right? On one hand. On the other hand, it's still maintained. 
we don't go more than something that would ruin its form. So we can't like do it too much, right? <laughs> That's kind of hip hop and it's also cool, but here we have to learn one here. So let's let's maybe sometimes look in the mirror. Here we have a mirror. <laughs> It's good to see, because sometimes we are not able to feel exactly to what extent we are moving. So sometimes we look in the mirror and we kind of try to understand how far we can go. At the same time, don't stay rigid. So, once again, let's try that. simple 